Hi, it's Jeff. And Denise from MouseSteps.com. And this is episode number 487. 487. Of Mouse Steps Weekly. Sponsored by MEI Travel and Mouse Fan Travel. And there is a lot to book right now for Disney. Not only is the Disney Treasure starting to take bookings for certain uh, Castaway Club members, but also the Disneyland Hotel at Disneyland Paris is now... Uh, booking packages reimagined Disneyland fully hotel. right transformed into you know a royal a royal hotel with the opening of January 25th we have booked a night there very exciting <laughs> very yeah I'm really I'm actually really excited about it but and also here you know there's Halloween still going on and then of course the holidays are just around the corner so check out MEI and Mouse Fan Travel head to their website and uh, get a no obligation quote for wherever you want to go so this week we're going to talk all about the Oogie Boogie Bash we just got back from a week actually eight nights at the Disneyland Resort we had a wonderful time right we stayed at Homewood Suites so we got a nice fireworks view and we did two Oogie Boogie Bash nights at, Dis at Disney California Adventure. This is our favorite uh, Halloween event. And you're looking here, we, we like to check in. If you have tickets to the park, it is so much easier to check in inside the park if you have a, like a magic key or something. Right, either a magic key or a park hopper pass or you have the day at Disney California Adventure. Just check in. Uh, it's across from uh, Blue Sky. Yeah, the right? former Blue Sky, Blue Sky Cellar. Uh, cellar. It's now and the pass holder uh, area. I lounge. don't, we never really go up there. So <laughs> anyway, the, uh, you can see we received our bag, which includes uh, the Disney Wish, which is not the cruise line, but the movie coming <laughs> Correct. up. Correct. Looks like a great <laughs> film. And also these guides give you all the important information for the special events. The Villains Grove at dusk, you have the two uh, the uh, Frightfully Fun Parades and all sorts of uh, other activities. And, and we did too, because you can't do everything in one night. And yes, we like our, our recording thing, so it takes us longer, but there is a lot to see. And you could see what uh, what a line here at our first uh, trick-or-treat trail that we chose to do. It was uh, one of the new characters, Yokai. And this was, the line moved relatively quickly. It's really better to wait until a little later in the evening to do trick-or-treating um, for a lot of reasons, partly because uh, it's not as busy later in the evening and also you're not carrying around items for as long. One thing I do like about the Halloween events at Disneyland and the Oogie Boogie Bash, you're seeing sun chips. There's quite a variety mm -hmm. of snacks and treats. I tried to show one uh, one handout of all of them. And Including here, carrots and such and too. Carrots, yeah, and, and apple slices. But no grapes this year. No grapes, unfortunately. But here is Yokai. Yes. Uh, from Big Hero 6. And of course, uh, you have San Francisco. Now, uh, the former Pacific Wharf was redeemed to San Francisco. And so he that's why he is in this particular area. Um, you know, everybody was lining up down by Cars Land, but you end up going into San Francisco to see him. And I can say he's much more menacing at night. And I'm mm -hmm. going to show that uh, a little bit later on. So we're continuing. Uh, I think we have uh, fish. They were the goldfish, goldfish, but they were they weren't the crackers. They were really good. They were, were like cinnamon, uh, almost like biscuits or cookies. And of course, there's candy too. We did get the little goldfish shaped like Mickey, the Mickey goldfish too. Oh, in little I, pouches. right, right. Uh, so yeah, we got um, the crackers, right? They're crackers. Those are uh, something you eat. And here is Madame Mim uh, from the Sword and the Stone. So the tree trails are almost like theater. And they're like interactive theater where the characters usually are talking to you. If you want to talk to them, right. they'll talk back. I absolutely <laughs> did talk back to Madame Mim. She's going to show me uh, Merlin's uh, magic hat here. And I really, I really love the treat trails because you get to see the characters and you don't have to stand in like an hour wait to see them and you get candy and other items <laughs> what along more the way. You <laughs> ask for it's it's nice because there's a little area often on the side or in the back in some cases where you can stay and spend extra time with the characters and that way you don't clog up the line for most guests who just want to get more candy. Mm -hmm. And also there are usually uh, there are usually like five or six buckets along the way so they may give you one or two items you know into your bag but it really fills up by the time you go through. I recommend, and we didn't do this, bringing a bigger, well, I have my backpack. <laughs> I did bring a, bigger, a bigger bag. Oh, did I you? I did, both, both parties I had a bigger bag. Because just the sun chips alone can fill up your bag and some of the, like the goldfish and everything. So anyway, bring a bigger, a bigger bag is helpful. So this is party one, number one. Once again, another big line here for Judge Doom. First uh, appearance, he's from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. And we went a couple times. We went during the day 
and then uh, we went at night also and here you can see the a lot of the candy is similar to what you will find here the mars uh m m's the uh milky ways mm -hmm. and, and such like that so um really a, a nice selection of of candy but other items as well and you know you can't hear it here but you can take a look at our video the music is very foreboding mm -hmm. as you're approaching judge doom and you're seeing there's all sorts of uh poisonous things this is even more impressive at night and of course turpentine which is the enemy of all the tunes and it really is really uh, great effects and this is where maleficent used to meet for a number of years and yes. i miss maleficent maleficent she was, was also fantastic. very good i do like the judge doom but mm -hmm. I, I enjoyed maleficent this is always a good location i would have liked to have seen maleficent return to another even to another location so uh judge doom is here and he will probably be getting a tune shoe out here to to go in the dip he is going to demonstrate the dip for us he is so good at he what, you know he's really wonderful. fantastic um I just want to say, like at night, the first time, I think they didn't have some of the lighting effects. Well, there, you could tell up there on the left, there would be an Acme sign, mm -hmm. which was not there here on I'm, this first night. Right. But I it think, did appear uh, party number two. Yes. So little things like that might be still uh, changing. Mm -hmm. So a little bit could be different when you go. And here is a shoe. And, you know, I didn't even, I was an adult when Who Framed Roger Rabbit came out, but I guess, you know, younger people who were younger kids and such at the time this was um a traumatic it, scene it's for them. very traumatic and it kind of is just looking at it it's very you and know I, you know i don't want to give a spoiler about judge doom but uh you know it's even more interesting when you know the uh the end result of him so you know. and i need to rewatch uh, who framed roger rabbit because it has been a very long time since i have seen it and uh anyway he was he was really good um, a really a, a great addition and one of the longer character lines, but not, I don't know if none he of, was the none longest. None of them were horrible. I mean, they, no, they even, all move pretty quickly. Right. Even when it was uh, long, it, they moved. And so I think we're heading down to Mother Gothel now from Tangled because I, like I recognize I like, the waterfalls. Yeah. Well, the trail is very refreshing. You know, it was a, actually, it was a very comfortable and cool night. And here is Mother Gothel. And she was here last year as well. And maybe, I don't remember if she was there the year before. They had a lot of new characters last year. I don't think so. I think last year last may have been year. the first year for her. And she she also was, uh, you know, they're all popular. They're all fantastic. And, uh, of course, she, uh, at one Very point. Very interactive, this at, one. At one point, I think she had, a like, a little sword or something. Yes, yes. Uh, so, really, again, like, theater, um, I just I just enjoy the tree trails, not just to get candy. We ended up giving most of it to our friend <laughs> who now has like ten pounds of candy yeah, from two we, nights. Over over ten pounds. I mean, I did, they are not uh, not stingy whatsoever with the candy. Well, because like I said, you get like one or two pieces, but from each. But if you go through one uh, location, you end up with like six to ten items. So uh, now we're looking at the frightful the start of the frightfully fun parade, which is. Uh, we've got Ichabod, uh, Ichabod Crane. I love seeing Ichabod. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I miss at uh, Walt Disney World mm -hmm. because in uh, before the um, Mickey's Booty You Parade, mm -hmm. they would have the Headless Horseman, but he just rides with a, you know, he, it's just, you're just getting this, no Ichabod. You hear the story of Ichabod Crane, mm -hmm. but I like actually seeing him. Long ago at Walt Disney World, you used to have him out there. And Ichabod here, or uh, not Ichabod, the Headless Horseman mm -hmm. moves very slowly. Like in Walt Disney World, he used to gallop. He's he's slower, more of a trot now. Mm -hmm. But here he's more of a, more a of little a walk yes. and sometimes a stop. Frightfully Fun Parade uh, has been here at Disney California Adventure since Oogie Boogie Bash was here. But they used to have the, like the Mickey's Halloween Party right. over at Disneyland. And they also had Frightfully Fun Parade there. So it's, it's Halloween, Halloween, <laughs> everybody. If you like that song, you're going to hear it a lot because that mm -hmm. is the song of this whole parade. And this is, uh, there's two parades each night. And this is the area we usually see a parade in, although we also uh, saw it from um, Where Paradise. It yeah, Paradise uh, Park area. Park. Mm -hmm. Um, and so here is, there's the Nightmare Before Christmas. I don't Looks like a popcorn bucket. It does look like, like a yes. giant popcorn bucket to me. <laughs> I, I don't think it was too giant. So, um, we really enjoy it. I don't think it's changed a lot over the years. I don't remember too much different. It's a, I believe it's exactly the same as it was last year. And it was maybe a slight change from the year before that. Well, I don't think, I mean, when we saw it in, um, 
in Disneyland a number of years ago. I, I think Ursula uh, may have debuted that year. Mm-hmm. So, like, you see Ur- Ursula everywhere now. And here is Jack and Sally. They do not meet here at Oogie Boogie Bash. They are on the float. But you can meet them at Disneyland. And it really isn't usually more than a one-hour wait because they don't they cut the line. Right. Uh, there's only there's a limited no, space in right. the line. Uh, and we waited for Jack and Sally, but Jack and Sally left while we were there, and then Jack came back, so we met Jack. Yeah, Sally got lost. <laughs> but it was it was great. Jack was fantastic. Mm-hmm. So it was, you know, if you want to see uh, Jack and Sally, Disneyland is the place. Mm-hmm. And and I don't think we waited too long in this spot, and we certainly didn't wait too long uh, in the other area, for, and that was during the second parade on the second night. Here is uh, the Hitchhiking Ghosts. This is a really great segment. We just saw the ballroom dancers and Hitchhiking Ghosts. Then we have the bride on the back and the, the grave diggers. And a, a little tip about the parade. The second parade is absolutely less busy. Unlike here now Unlike at Walt, at Disney, Walt World, Disney World. Which it, it used to be. it's not so scary. It used to be always uh, less busy during the second parade unless there was a weather issue. And now it's fe- felt like each time we went, uh, this time, three, three parties... The second uh, parade was always busier. I mean, this is a wonderful parade, but I still prefer Mickey's Boot to You parade. It's especially this year, you know, it's longer Mm -hmm. and there's a lot going on. But this is great, too. I mean, I'm glad to have both. Well, I mean, Mickey's Boot to You parade was refreshed Mm -hmm. this year with some uh, characters and such. Uh, But this is really it's still a a very fun parade. Um, And I think we're going to be looking at Dr. Facilier. Dr. Uh, Facilier no longer doing meat, meat or actually treat, not meat. He, he was uh, one of the treat trails previously. And and he was really good too. Um, so, uh, of course, a lot of times when one arrives, another one Somebody leaves. has to go, right. He was where Madame Mim was mm-hmm. uh, at one point, maybe two years ago. And so uh, right now we're starting to look, we're coming into like a really more of a villainy uh, segment. And so... Here we Let's are. See, there's, there's Ursula. Ursula. You had mentioned Ursula earlier. And I think uh, the Frightfully Fun Parade is where Ursula began. And then we saw her at an after-hours event in a in a parade or cavalcade. And now she's at Walt Disney World. In Mickey's Booty. Yeah. yeah. So we see her pretty often. And so here are the, the villains. There's a really good selection of villains. You have uh, the Queen of Hearts and the Tremaines. And so many, you know, really and a rare, fun. a very rare appearance by uh, Judge Frollo. You don't see much hmm. of him anymore. No, you're right. We don't see him too much. And uh, so I'm just the like, sheriff Captain, of Nottingham too. And he was meeting. Captain, I did meet him. That was great. And Captain Hook was meeting as well. Uh, there was some really good uh, meets. And here we are. We have uh, we have Hades and Cruella. This is a really great float, uh, I think. I, you know, this villain's float. Now, they do have a treat trail with Cruella, but it's the live action version. And she is fantastic. And I, that is in its third year, I believe. Yes, now. It, it, you are right. Third year. And I just remember seeing her, and it's like, it reminded me so much of Emma Stone. Like, mm-hmm. really, she's like really on point. So uh, here is the evil queen, and she is conjuring up some sort of a potion. Well, we saw her, uh, we're going to see her later on, in her hag uh, mm. formation. Instead of Hans. <laughs> so, and then, We do see Hans. We, we have ended up seeing Hans. And then the Cheshire Cat is on the back. And Cheshire Cat began at Disneyland Paris. Uh, we had first mm-hmm. met Cheshire Cat there. And now Cheshire Cat also uh, then went to Disneyland and did like a... He now appears at the Villains Dance Party mm-hmm. every uh, every night, I think, at Disneyland. And he did like a, after the pandemic open, reopening, I think it was when he had a kind of a greeting yeah, he from had a the meet grass. And greet during the day with yes, Alice. That with was Alice. wonderful. I remember that. And here is one of the tree trails as well. Oogie Boogie has been here for a few years now. And... Very popular, <laughs> as you can see. This was right after the parade, though. And I remember the first time we waited for the Oogie Boogie tree trail a few years ago. And it was, you know, we waited like a half hour 45 minutes outside of the there's no reason there's no reason to get in line for the oogie boogie treat trail before the party starts because at some point during the party you'll be able to just kind of walk in in not very much time well what we've done the last few years is because we watch the parade close to where you enter for this uh, treat trail mm-hmm. 
second, I mean, as soon as the parade ends, we go straight to see Oogie Boogie. There is a line, but it's not horrible. And by the time we get out, mm -hmm. it's a very long line. Well, but but it moves. So there's yeah. no need to get in a big line, you know, like a half hour before the party starts for You're, that. That's correct. So here is Ernesto de la Cruz, who was like the hit of the party. <laughs> he was. He was great. Last year, as far as the tree trails. And every so often, he'll sing Remember Me. And they have an area here. Uh, you can't get as close to him as you could get last year, but there's an area roped off. So. I suspect his popularity mm -hmm. was so much last year, they mm -hmm. needed a bigger venue for him. And this is where they have him now is great. It's right next to the theater that had the, uh, help me out, what's the, the captain? Uh, oh, the, ca the Rogers, the, ca Rogers the, the musical. musical. Right, mm -hmm. so it's right next to there. There's the Hyperion. Hyperion mm -hmm. Theater, that's right. So there's plenty of room. It, you can stand in that little grassy area. It's like a courtyard type right. area. And the, you know, the guests kind of go in front of you to get their candy, but they're not really in the way, you know, he's, he's elevated. So, you know, it was, that's a mm -hmm. great, great location for him. And here is live action Cruella. And again, as we're seeing these, you know, these characters, we're, we're getting candy. And, <laughs> Lots uh, of candy. I no, I mentioned no grapes this year. I was looking for grapes everywhere. Uh, so, you know, you're just getting, and not everybody stops for very long. A lot of guests just want to keep on moving. You know, maybe they've seen her last year mm -hmm. or they just want to see her for a second, grab a photo and go. But some kind of hang out there and, and talk to her and such. So there, here we have Hans. Hans is uh, leaving. We had waited for uh, to meet Hans and we were one guest away, but uh, <laughs> he left. And instead we got to meet a very similar character, the Wicked Hag. <laughs> <laughs> they both start with H. <laughs> yes, and, they and do. so instead of getting Hans, everybody who's waiting for Hans now gets the hag. What a difference. Oh, I guess we weren't, th this was a different time. Uh, yeah. we, we weren't quite uh, one On, away. Well, the second night when we were trying to get Hans, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And we eventually had, you know, we did do, meet we, him. We do, we will show Hans like right after this. But on, on that one time, I'm like, you know, we were like one party away. There was one more party in front of us, and then you end up with the hag. <laughs> you know, this hag has grown on me. I, I've been spoiled by the Disneyland Paris hag. But she since, was really since good. Since we've not seen her in a number of years, this is as close you're, as you're going to get. And she's really great. Look at the, uh, you know, enthusiasm here. The the former Disneyland Paris hag was the best. She was a, like a live, you know, a person and not the uh, the mask right right and now we have uh, Mr. Hans here from uh, Frozen of course and yeah I mean it was good it was these lines are not too long but you notice that you might get the hag you know they do well they rotate so they there's, rotate there's, right you never know which one you're going to get so I remember you ended up saying something about the British Isles and it's like <laughs> That was interesting. Well, I was the I was thinking of the wrong aisles. Yes. But you he, you and him both corrected me very quickly. But then I then yeah. we talked about sandwiches. So. so but anyway, Sid Sid, is, Sid was great. And Sid oh, also has been here for a couple of years. This is his third year. He's from Toy Story, of course. I from will the say, first w movie. I will say he is the one uh villain on a tree trail who sort of unnerves me so i will not say <laughs> you, you know, ran away while i was I talking to sid no there is no <laughs> he, sign of denise he makes me nervous <laughs> you know though he'll talk to you and this it, is just... more your style lots of lots of hug and bear yeah i from was toy story i was right there behind uh lots of taking a, a video from the back side and uh so the one thing is when you meet lots and and some of the other characters they'll be like you can take one one phone or device, three photos there's or whatever. There's lots of, uh, boy, what a hug. Uh, Your glasses are flying off. He, he lives up to his name. Lots of hugging right there. And he does smell of strawberries, by the yes. way. Yes. And, and I was really nervous to take any photos because you're taking video it's like only one device you know it wasn't as bad that they did make that warning but it, it wasn't that rushed and, and when we, we met the sandersons it. it wasn't horrible either yeah we try to you know and they say they'll take three photo pass pictures and they did they took mm -hmm. three pictures so they kept their promise here we are it is party number two two days later we're going to start off we are going to meet bruno and bruno right was, at six bruno was here last year uh we waited about a half hour prior to the party starting which is uh, actually not bad considering some of the other characters end up being a lot longer. And uh, and there's Bruno. He's like, oh, hi, Jeff. No, <laughs> well, you're I only kidding. I remembered where he uh, 
comes out. So uh, I was able to greet Bruno on his way. And we were, as you said, second in line. So it was very quick and easy. And we had a very nice, uh, nice interaction with Bruno. And Bruno will be making his first appearance at the Magic Kingdom tomorrow in the uh, Disney Adventure Friends Cavalcade, I believe it's called. That's right. And also Maribel will be making her debut, her meet and greet Mm -hmm. debut at uh, the Magic Kingdom tomorrow. But she has appeared also in the Disney Adventure Friends Cavalcade. I don't, we've heard that, you know, maybe Bruno will only be there for Hispanic Heritage Month for like a month, Mm -hmm. but I don't, we'll see. Like There has been no official announcement, I don't think. No, I don't think anybody's said officially that it would only be for a month. But here's Bruno right here. Yes. We got to have one-on-one interaction with Bruno. He was great. Mm -hmm. And we got some very nice pictures too. Oh, look at this. Followed up by some apple slices. I do like the apple slices whenever I can find them there. And I believe we're about to see Agatha Harkness from... WandaVision. From WandaVision. Third uh, third appearance, third year in a row for her. Yes, and I remember when she first debuted, everybody was so excited and the line was tremendous. It still is. It, it still, still is a it, good it's line. It's good, although uh, when we came by, you know, a little later, it wasn't too bad. Um, you know, she's really, she also is, they're all fantastic. You know, again, it's like, it's like theater. You know, they, they like act out and then talk to you and... I just it's love fantastic. It. I, I love that element of this. Mm-hmm. It's just, uh, it's so much fun. Also, we saw Mickey's Trick and Treat. It is a, it is a character show. And so most guests sit on the floor. I told Jeff, like, I We were couldn't... tipped off. I, I asked if we get there early, there is uh, limited seats in the back. So I took full advantage of that. Right. I couldn't do the floor <laughs> this time. So uh, you've got Mickey and Minnie. We also uh, have Goofy in the show and Donald. And funny oh, that you mention that because you're about to see there he is there is Goofy and he is in his mummy outfit. And right, and costume, so I should say costume. A lot of the show has to do with them wanting candy. <laughs> so you have sort of this uh spooky little mildly spooky type of thing going on, but then they're gonna break into song and say they want candy and over and over again. And then at the end you get candy, like as there it is, lots, lots, of, lots candy. of candy, <laughs> and this song ends up getting stuck in your head half the night because it's just like oh, I want candy. I see Donald in his uh, Wolfman costume, and it really just it's a it's a cute show. Oh, there is I want candy, lots of candy, <laughs> and they sing this and they sing it over and over and over again. I think it's a popular show with the kids. Like, they have them dancing oh, and everything. Oh, extremely popular. This is my favorite part coming up, though. Who could this be? We're going to have some uh, surprise appearance. It's two ghosts. I can't tell. Who do you think they are? I am not sure. I bet you But better. they're going to show it in just a second. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's uh, Mickey and Minnie, of course. But, uh, again, it's just something you don't see very often. Although you did see Mickey and Minnie as ghosts. Again, over 20 years ago, long ago, at Mickey's uh, Not So Scary in the Booty You Parade. This is this is a uh, not a long show. It's about 15 minutes or so, and uh, really, it's you know it's worth seeing if you have the ki- have kids, especially uh, they probably re- will really enjoy it. And then they're going to sing to you how much they want candy. And then you're going to go look for candy all night. Speaking of, uh, well, not looking for candy. We don't know. It looks like a money bag here. He could have candy, too. The Sheriff of Nottingham. And you can see this is uh, one of this street, you know, this the circle here. Um, This is where those characters like the Hag are and Hans when Mm -hmm. Hans isn't when, you know, when they're rotating. And then Captain Hook is also here. Uh, rotating with the Sheriff of Nottingham. Now, we mentioned we went back to see Judge Doom. You can see there is the Acme sign. It it is uh, fully illuminated. And here he is. We're going to watch him at night doing the The demonstration of the dip. And I just, uh, I'll say, I don't think the first night that they ended up having uh, the lighting at all. So, uh, and and I feel like he was even better the second oh, night. Oh, absolutely. It was, it was, I mean, it was and full I said, force. And I said that on the, on the second night. I said, you know, I think he, he's kind of in his groove here. I think he, you know, even better. So if you end up going to um, the Oogie Boogie Bash, I really recommend, well, all the treat trails, but especially the Judge Doom one's really good. I, and I even like the, uh, the props at mm-hmm. night. Everything nicer and more uh, spooky at night. I'm glad we went back. It was definitely worth seeing that uh, both t- mm-hmm. in both elements. 
And so uh, I know we're going to be heading out here. Sanderson's. Sanderson's. I had a nice long wait to meet the Sanderson's. I didn't realize the line was uh, going to take as long as it did. I went there for during the first parade on party number two. And you were like, oh, it's going to... like." It looks short. Yeah, Jeff texted me and he's like, oh, it's not long at all. It's, you know... One hour should... later, we're meeting uh, the Sandersons. <laughs> but you were able to join me in line. You didn't have to, to wait, luckily. So you were able to do some other things. But it was really nice to meet them. I much prefer meeting them at night. La the Last year, their first year, we had the sun was right in our eyes. And I told our you. Our picture was kind of squinted. This right. was much, everything uh, is nicer at night. Our pictures, right. I thought, came out really, really good. And I had said that I would rather see them at night if we're going to see them this year uh, because the lighting is so much better. Uh, we waited about two hours last year before the party started. And I just want to mention, this is a photo pass. These are photo pass pictures and photo pass is included. included. And uh, we were able to get a number. I'm not showing them all, but we were able to get a number of nice photo pass mm -hmm. pictures. And we have a uh, cruise here. Like, so um, in Cars Land, there are a number of the cars who, who do meet uh, guests during the day, you know, daytime, non party hours, but they were all out at the same time. So you get to kind of see all of them in a short period in of time. In their Halloween costumes. In their yes, in their Halloween costumes. That's one of our biggest videos ever too, showing when the Cars Land cars came out. When they came first out. came out for Halloween, all, right. of, the, all of them. And uh, I mean, just so many millions of, of views on that. But, uh, but uh, you know, our favorite one, of course, is Red the Fire Truck. And there he is at night. I've never seen him at night before. And he had all his lights going. And of course, he's dressed in his favorite costume. He is a, a clown. clown. <laughs> yes, it's a very interesting costume. I remember when he first came out uh, for that first time. Yeah, we were there for Land. his very first mm -hmm. appearance, and everybody was so excited to see Red dressed up. And he was sort of off to the side, so you, uh, it was hard to find him. <laughs> oh, I had promised earlier in the show we're going to show Yokai at night. I think he looks... Uh, much more menacing, and his voice. They, I think, they changed his voice from party from number one to number mm -hmm. two. He had a more uh, reverby, you know, uh, menacing voice. Let's go through the villains' grove. This is what we save for the very last thing on party number two. And we first uh, did the villains' grove last year and really enjoyed it. Like I had heard how great it was, and we didn't do it a couple of years ago. It sounds like there should be characters. It's not a character uh, location. But it is. But there's essence of characters. Yes, like right here, uh, we're going through an area that is Frollo Sanctuary with the cath uh, Cathedral of Trees infused with incense smells and chanting voices. And you hear kind of the uh, the hunchback music, uh, you know, a little bit of the Frollo music playing in the background. You can detect. It's very it's very subtle but cool. And so Villains Grove is along the Redwood uh, Redwood Creek Challenge Trail. Mm -hmm. um, there is a fair bit of walking here, but it really is, the atmosphere is is amazing. You just saw stained glass, pro, you know, projections on the ground. And uh, it's just uh, this this uh, projection here on the rocks with the bats and, and the mm -hmm. sound and everything together is just phenomenal. And this, this is probably a Maleficent's Will. There's a number of different themed areas. Uh, and so I believe that is uh, what that is. And then Queen of Hearts Garden. And here you can see the Cheshire Cat. Um, this is, uh, it's really, I don't want to say it's hard to show in video mm -hmm. how it is, because you actually did a, a nice job of, of... That's because I switched to the phone this yes. year. The, pho <laughs> the phone shows this better than my video camera. My video camera is better for many other things, but when it comes to something like this, I went for the phone. I think the phone delivered. And I just would say that if you can do, uh, even at the end of the night, you know, a, a, a small amount of minutes before the end of the night and get in line. Well, here's a tip. We didn't wait until the very end of the night. We went right after the second parade. So we followed the parade until it made, you know, until we could make the turn. And again, we saw it over by the, the pier area, right mm -hmm. where it started. Followed the parade for a short bit, made the turn right around where the Little Mermaid uh, queue would be walked down that uh, little aisle around to the left and got in line. And it wasn't a massive, horrible line like it can be if you wait till the very end of the night, like, you know, two minutes before uh, the end of the event. And the parade got stuck because the Cheshire Cat lost his tail. Yeah. So uh, that took a minute for them to 
to make sure Reattach. it's <laughs> Very important. I like this from the Lion King. This is a, a cool segment also. This is a Scar's Elephant Graveyard. And this is actually my favorite, I think, of maybe my favorite of the locations You here. feel like you're in the scene, you know? Yeah. It has the, the smoke going off and the sounds the and music the music. It's very, is, very cool in person. The music is really great here. Um, and This, this is, is one of my favorites, by the, the way. The Dr. Phyllis Cillier's Friends on the Other Side. Very, very impressive. Uh, this is on the ground, and I'm surprised the uh, other mm -hmm. the I'm surprised other guests walked around it for as long as they did. So I was able to get this video because last year I couldn't get any of it. It's and here is uh, the Wicked Queen's Lightning Forest, and I did not look up all these ahead of time to really understand. Uh, everything that we were going through. I mean, some of you know. It feels like, it, even though it's not raining, it feels like there is lightning and rain. It's mm -hmm. it's so convincing in, in person. It's just amazing. The atmosphere here is really unlike anything that I've seen in a Disney park during an event. Uh, and it really is something I, I want to do each year. Yes, I, uh, I would not miss it again. And I'm not sure where we are at the moment, but... We're I, almost... Uh, yes. almost uh, this is called Dawn. Uh, lanterns light the way toward a brilliant sunrise. And it, you know, you kind of know you're almost out and you can see this is a second year second in a year row. Second year we followed Maleficent out <laughs> right, of there. With the Maleficent uh, <laughs> horns. So. It was, I, I noticed that too because I thought it was an, a cool effect the first year and then we had it again. So deja vu for us. Yeah, I guess there's a lot of Maleficents walking around. I didn't notice them. I, I don't notice them until they're in the, in the, the sun, it's sunrise It's great though. There. It really adds to mm -hmm. the, uh, to the effect but again, highly recommend to do not miss the Villains I, Grove. For me, it's Villains Grove is now a do, a do not miss. And I would say like um, next year, if you're planning to do Oogie Boogie, I say do two parties. And I know it's not cheap. It isn't. But, and um, it's not easy to get the tickets either. No, and, and also not as easy to get the tickets. But if you can get the tickets, uh, really having two parties, like a lot of our friends get two parties because... You know, you want to see everything. And we didn't even see everything. And that's true because that we did not see the Kingdom Hearts We characters. saw them along the way, but we didn't meet them. And some other characters we didn't meet also. The line was incredibly long and for, I, for the Kingdom Hearts. And I didn't do Monsters After Dark there. So, you know, there's... Well, I did Monsters I know you After did. Dark during the regular day. But uh, anyway, if you can, check it out. We loved the Oogie Boogie Bash. I'm sure we'll be back next year. We want to thank our sponsor, MEI Travel and Mouse Fan Travel. Check out MEI and Mouse Fan Travel. Head to their website for a no obligation quote. They're Disney specialists. They're all kinds of cruise specialists. Um, they can do... Disney Cruise Line, you've got the Disney Treasure. Disney Treasure. Disney, the Disneyland Hotel, Disneyland Paris, which I am very excited about. That is very exciting. I mean, there's so much going on all around the world with Disney. Head to MEI and Mouse Hunt Travel for that no obligation quote. So uh, again, next week we're going to be, hopefully, as long as everything goes according to plan, we will be uh, off to Disneyland Paris. We will have uh, at least a show to uh, to run during that time, and then we'll have a big show when we get back all about uh, Halloween at Disneyland Paris and everything else. I'm sure there's going to be a lots and lots to see. There is, you know, the Halloween is pretty short at Disneyland Paris. It's just over a month. Um, like, so uh, Walt Disney World started August 11th and then uh, Disneyland started like September 1st and then uh, Disneyland Paris starts on October 1st. So it really is very spread out. Um, it's nice though because yeah. it lets us welcome them all in. Mm -hmm. and you know, if they all started in August, then it would be impossible to be there for the first day yes. of all these events. But we're also looking at that January time frame now uh, to be there for well, the Well, don't opening. remind me, it's going to be very cold in January. Yes, Get your parka ready. I, but, you know, I'm... I hope they have a coat <laughs> check at the new Disneyland Hotel. I'm very excited about the Disneyland Paris, the hotel opening um, the Disneyland Hotel, which will have the royal, total royal retheme. It's been closed for over two years. They stripped it top to bottom. And there's uh, character dining. And, you know, it's not inexpensive, but I think that it's going to be such a special experience. And it's possible that almost nobody else except those staying in the hotel will be able to get into the hotel. At least at le for the first uh, few months. And, and we'll see what happens, you know, later. But I'm, it's a very exciting time. I, you know, I know how how popular the princesses are. It's my number one topic on the site is a Disneyland uh, hotel right now, and um, so we're looking forward to being able to share that 
I'm, you know, hoping we can get into something with inside ears and, and all, but I really wanted to be able to go there uh, on our own and uh, to be able to experience it. So that is another show. Thanks again for listening. Have a great week, and we'll see you all next week. Have a great week.